All right, so how do we use this in a real sense of designing a kitchen? Well, I normally start out with a uh, new layout and I reference the kitchen where it's supposed to be in the house that I'm designing and I reference the walls and so on in the new drawing and I make a, a plan layout of, I guess I could have used guidelines, of the width of these cabinets and the space that they're going to go in. As you can see, I've already uh, allocated three cabinets. And uh, so I'm just going to carry on and uh, do another cabinet. So I've got a, uh, a two foot six cabinet wide. It's going to be three foot six inches high and it's going to be one foot deep and it's going to have a door pull and it's going to have a top on it okay and this particular cabinet I'm going to just isolate and put over here for a second because they all come in come in at uh, the origin and now I'm going to get another cabinet this time this cabinet is going to be three feet high and it's going to be two feet deep and it's going to look like that it's also going to have a top on it and uh, I'm going to rotate this particular cabinet Use my rotate tool there it is Ninety degrees, and I'm going to. Whoop. What happened? I guess I need more space. Let me make more space. Move everything over here. Let's do that one more time. Yeah. Now I'm going to move that cabinet and put, place it next to this one. I'm just going to zoom in to make sure that they're properly aligned and I notice that it isn't. You should sort of click there. There we are. Okay, now you can see that one is higher than the other already. I'm going to fill a panel in there later. And now I'm going to select these two and I'm going to move them into place. I'm going to take that line and I'm going to move them into a place there. And again, I just want to zoom in to see that I've got them precisely located. And uh, yeah, it looks like that's precise for that particular situation. Okay, carrying on from before, I carried a little bit forward. I uh, included another cabinet on either side, simply um, copied and pasted in place these cabinets since they were the same width, and then added two drawer units on either side and filled in the uh, backsplash area, changed the wood grain and the handle colors, and uh, now let's continue on with uh, installing the cabinets in the back. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, take the wall up to eight feet. Let's zoom out and see what that looks like. Now we're going to come down two feet and uh, as a reference for the height of these cupboards. And now I'm going to get a two foot cabinet, two foot six cabinet, two feet high, one foot deep, no kick. And, uh, it's not going to require a top, so let's just select it and uh, pull it into place. Let's zoom in a bit here to see whether we can get it directly in line. Yes, there we are. And now on either side, we're going to put a cabinet, so we're going to get a single door cabinet. It's going to be uh, one foot six 
it's going to be two feet high, one foot deep. It's not going to have a kick. Yes, we're going to do that. And there we go. It's not going to have a top. And we will select it also. And we're going to drag it to that wall. Let's zoom in. Let's take this point here right next to it. Right, and while I got it selected, I can now do a copy, copy and paste in place, and then drag another cabinet out from it. And uh, now I could have actually done a left or right handed one, but that doesn't matter. I can take this handle. And I can just drag it horizontally to the other side. And now we'll just go and look at what we've got. Now we've got the back cabinets. And now we can continue on with the... Uh, now with the pantry, we're going to get a cabinet that's going to be three feet wide. two feet deep and it's going to have a kick and there we go it's not going to have a top all right so let's select this guy get a more reasonable view of where we're going to place this put that top point there Zoom in and see whether we're in the ballpark. No, it doesn't look like it yet. Sometimes these things are a little bit tricky. There we go. Oop, there. All right. Click off so I don't move it again. And now we are a pantry in place. Now. Let's remember that we could have added additional shelves in there and taken things out of there. And we shall have a look at the next video to see how this thing completed. So this particular kitchen contains no appliances. But it has some very nice cabinets. So let's have a look to see exactly what I did here. I, uh, I pulled back this wall expose the back of the cabinets included some wood grain finishes uh, which may or may not be required in, in preliminary design for example I can edit the counter material and uh, have it pick up the the green of the other counter and uh, basically pull this wall back up to its former position, do a little bit more painting, and uh, delete some of the lines. And there we have it. An example of what you can do with cabinet tools. Thanks for watching.